Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So this is the continuation of four track series and I think this is my eighth video and I think the last topic that I will be discussing which is array in four track. Okay, so what is array? So array is a group of related data item. Okay, we can say array is a group of related data item under a common name yeah so we already we have already studied uh, the concept of array in c so this is very easier than c only you have to know the methods how to use this so if you want to initialize a 1d array 1d array so you can initialize that this array by using array name that is name of array and array length suppose you want to declare an array in, of integer type so you can write here integer name of array suppose num and size is suppose 5 ok so this is the way we can declare an array fine so I'll write uh, I'll discuss a very simple question that we always do that is reading uh, the element of array and uh, then displaying the element of array okay so let us take a simple example this is uh, reading and displaying element of array okay so very uh, you know briefly I'll be discussing so please don't get confused let me write the name of program as array then let me declare the array so i'll take the previous name only that in teaser num i am making a num type array of size 10 means that in memory somewhat this num size array is declared of size 10 we can store 10 elements of type in teaser okay also let me declare variable i for the loop thing because we know that for in order to read the element or in order to write the element or print the element we have to use loop Okay, so in C programming, we used to use a for loop for this. Here we'll use simple do loop. Okay, so let us uh, write inter elements of array. Okay, so one first do loop is for reading the element. So i equals to 1, i less than 10 and i plus plus incremented by 1 will read the element of array by using read statement read which is num and i finally will you will in this do loop so this is the loop for reading the element finally we are going to write the element okay so again write okay here we'll write display element fine so again we'll use a do loop same thing will repeat i equals to 1 i less than 10 and i plus plus we are going to print the element so write and what we'll do same thing num i will end do so this loop is for this is for reading this is for writing finally we'll end our program okay so i hope you got this this is very easy very easy method Next, um, there is something called data in uh, you know this uh, initialization of for initialization of array. We have got something called data. In this way, you can initialize the variable. For example, in C, we used to initialize the variable as suppose we have a num array of size five. So if you want to initialize the element of the variable there only, so we used to give curly bracket and then we used to give the element. You remember? Yeah. So this was in C. In array, we can do this using the statement called data. So, for example, uh, for example, if we have a uh, array, okay. So, let me uh, in teaser. Suppose if you have an array of num size five, so we can write like this: data and num one, comma num two comma num3 comma num4 comma num5 
After this, we have to give a slash. Okay, this is continuation. I don't have a space, so I'm writing there. Slash. Suppose 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Again, a slash. In this way, we can slice the value of num1 as 10, num2 as 20, num3 as 30, num4 as 40, and num5 as 50. Fine. So, in this way, you can slice the uh, array element if you don't want to read. Okay, so next important, very important concept. This concept, they have always asked um, this concept and this is very, um, you know, easy concept. After using this concept, you don't have to write lengthy program to read in order to read the array. Okay, so this is called implied do loop. Implied do loop. Okay, so impl implied do loop, what we do is, When large number of you know array elements have to uh, initialize, okay. When you want to initialize a large number of elements, so we can use implied do loop instead of reading in three lines, you can just read this statement using one line, okay. So, if you see the simplest form of this implied uh, do loop, is first we can write here array element, what your element of array is, then we can write the counter variable that is uh, some like i or j then initial value of that variable then final value and then step size a step size is just uh, you know uh, optional because as i told you if you don't give the step size they are going to give the step size as one okay so example okay so without using do loop okay this is with sorry without using implied do loop if you are not using implied do loop so how you are going to read the element of array remember do i equals to 1 5 1 read star star num i and then in do remember we did just before only we did this yeah so this is a three line of a statement to read an array but if we use implied do loop, if you are using this implied do loop, it is in a single statement that is read star star, okay, bracket num i comma i equals to 1 5 1. That's all. No need to write this do loop. You can read the array in a single statement using implied do loop. So, this is called implied do loop. Okay, you can use this instead of using this lengthy do loop for reading, you can use this implied do loop. Okay, fine. So, if you want, you can use this do loop also. It's not compulsory, but somewhere in questions, okay, they tell that use implied do loop while solving the question of array. They ask you to use implied do loop. So, use implied whenever they ask you this. Fine. So, okay. So, I think uh, that's for the theory part of, uh, you know, array, I think. Uh, let me see if any other topic is left here. Yeah, we have multidimensional array. Yeah, that was about one dimensional array. Okay. So, now let us solve this. Uh, let us see multidimensional array. Okay, so you know multidimensional array, it is in the form of matrix. So we have uh, data type, the syntax is data type. I'll solving all the question after this video, I'll make a separate video by solving all the question. Okay, data type of the array, name of the array. Okay, and then we have dimension. Suppose two dimension array, so dimension one comma dimension two. Okay, for example, uh, in teaser, let the name of array be matrix okay and 2 by 3 matrix so this is how we declare the array or we need slice the array so uh, let us see quickly a program similar similar way like uh, reading the element of a matrix and then displaying it okay so you know we uh, again we are going to use the loop so write a program to read and display element of 2d array okay so let's start 
suppose uh, let us take the ma this dimension as 2 by 3 matrix fine so let us declare the array integer matrix 2 by 3 and again we'll take two variable i and j for the looping thing yeah so in order to read the element to i equals to 1 2 1 again a nested loop remember in c programming we used for loop nested for loop in order to read or write so do uh, j equals to 1 3 1 and then we are going to read the element yeah so read star star matrix i comma j and do for this and again in do for that fine so this is for just for reading the matrix this one do loop is just for reading the matrix now again for writing the matrix instead of using this you know nested do loop nested do loop what you can do is uh, you can use implied do loop okay so let just see here what i am doing okay? so this is for reading for printing, I will be using implied do loop. So, how you can do is for writing, that is for printing, uh, we can use like do i equals to 1, 2, 1. This is first loop. But instead of using the j loop, I am going to use implied do loop. So, remember the syntax. Write matrix i, j and here we are going to use the j of value of j as 1, 3, 1. And a small bracket okay finally end do is there see so your one two three four five five lines of code it is you know sorted to three lines of code so one loop you have to give that is outer loop you have to give but for inner loop for j loop what you can do you can use implied to loop okay so in this way you can it's very easy to solve the question using implied to loop in matrix so let me okay so let me solve one question uh, one last question for this and then i'll be make, uh, making a separate uh, video for question series write a program to read two matrices of same size okay i'll write the question write a program to read two matrices of same size and display their sum okay so very quickly let us solve this so we have to take two matrices so in teaser let us take the matrix as 2 by 3 uh, sorry I didn't write the name so let us write the matrix suppose m1 the matrix is 2 by 3 let us take another matrix m2 it is of 2 by 3 and of course m3 it will also be of 2 by 3 we will take two variable i and j okay so very quickly let us uh, read the element of first matrix so do i equals to 1 2 1 i will use implied do loop sort in the code so read m1 i sorry i comma j and then comma comma j equals to 1 comma 3 okay end do so i read m1 for m2 again do i equals to 1 2 1 okay here i didn't write 1 so automatically it is going to take 1 if i'll escape 1 here also no problem it is automatically it's going to take the size as step size as 1 okay so don't worry if i miss that m2 i j and j equals to 1 comma 3 in do fine so i read both the matrix now what i have to do is i have to uh, you know add the result okay so for adding the result we cannot use implied do loop we have to use the nested loop only so let me scroll down a bit yeah so in order to find the sum we have to use both the loop okay so for i equals to 1 2 2 do for j equals to 1 2 3 and our m3 matrix i comma j equals to m1 matrix i comma j plus m2 matrix i comma j 
ओके इंदू फोर जे इंदू फोर आई फाइनली फॉर प्रिंटिंग द मैट्रिक्स वट वी कैन डू इज अगेन आई कैन यूज इम्प्लाई टू लू राइट स्टार स्टार एम थ्री आई कॉमा जे इक्वल्स एम थ्री आई कॉमा जे एंड देन कॉमा जे वन कॉमा थ्री या फाइनली इन डू and then in the program so wherever it is required you know um, like for example before uh, using this you can print here you can write the uh, resultant matrices similarly before reading here you can write here like uh, write the element of first matrix write the element of second matrix like this so please use that things yourself okay so uh, this was the end of the fortran series with array so next video i'll be uploading a last video in fortran uh, that is by solving the question so like i'll be solving question like multiplication of two matrix transpose of matrix uh, similarly uh, i think uh, other question i have already uploaded so that question also i'll be uploading or i'll be saving in this playlist only so please see that question and if any problem let me know thank you and take care